All right, we got Sue Generous up here at Vlad TV. How you feeling? We in this bitch. I didn't do this one for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I was a baby. I knew I was going to go out there wild out. So I think now is a good time for me to get up here. Right. Top it up with y'all. Oh, yeah. It's crazy because I actually interviewed you when you were 14 years old, I think four years was ago. Was it at the album release? It was in oh, LA. Yeah. That was lit. And then I found out you were from my hometown. SJ, 408, the tank, you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, area. <laughs> like that? Yo, yeah, literally, nah. no Some one's from lit. no one's from where I'm from. So I feel you. I feel the pain. <laughs> I'd be in there like, yo, who's trying to do this music shit? Let's get it. You know, like it feels like a real like town over there, huh? Right. I feel like who's really come out of there? There's a there's a lot coming out. Oh, but okay. They're just slept on right now, you know? Yeah. So I'm trying to put on for us. For sure, man. Just like talk about being raised in the household in San Jose, the Mexican parents. You were raised with your two brothers. What was that like growing up in the house? I got one brother. Oh, okay. It's gang right there. But um SJ's cool. It's cool. I love SJ. It's like uh it always felt like even though I didn't have a childhood because I started the music shit at 13, dropped out, whatnot, moved to LA on tour, whatever, whatever. I feel like I still had a childhood. Like, I was still, like, walking to and home from school every day, feel me, going to the block, causing drama, <laughs> doing shit like that. So it always felt like I was actually, like, a real kid at some point, you know? Even though, like, this new generation definitely not, like, walking around outside, going to the park, getting water cups at Jack in the Box and Starbucks, just doing a little bullshit like that. I feel like the technology's so crazy now, even, like, even if I was there, I'd just be on my phone and shit. Just TikTok just be having me like all that shit. VR, all that shit. Yeah, but it's cool. Um, yeah, I think you said you always knew you wanted to do something with your life. Like, when did you think you like did you think you'd be this little superstar <laughs> running around today? <laughs> Rapping around town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, realistically, it was whatever we we're gonna do. Like we just hustlers, like me, my family, like my people, like we just want to make it. We just want to get money. We just want to go up, you know, like we've always had the love for music. You know, my pops did music, uncles, cousins, everybody did music. So it just made sense. But we was doing everything. I was selling gummy worms. I was selling earrings. I was selling lead pencils in kindergarten, like everything. We was just destined to get money for real. So you were hustling. Oh, God. What high school did you go to? I went to Lincoln High School, but I went for like three months. Like you didn't months. finish? Nah. Oh, because you went on tour. Yeah, so I was in there for like three months, right? So I had dropped a song when I left middle school, right? Like during summer, it was like my birthday. I got a little laptop and I was like, yeah, I'm going to drop my song on SoundCloud. Drop that shit. So I went into high school as a SoundCloud rapper, like coming up and shit with my first song. So it was just like... High school wasn't a good experience, but then like towards Why wasn't the last a good experience? towards the last month, it got good. But like the whole time I was there, they were just like sound call rapper, little pump wannabe, this and that, just talking shit. And then like in the middle of all that happening, I just kept pushing and I kept pushing my song, you know. Adam showed me love and then everybody started showing me love. No way. Yeah, like everybody was just like, yo, sign my yearbook, you're gonna be famous. Oh, Make a song with me. I'm like, yo, fuck everybody here. Fuck everyone. No one fucked with me before. Damn, they were all haters in the beginning? Yeah, that's how it is. That's why, like, whenever I see, like, people just started making music, especially youngins, I'm like, bro, accept the hate and just keep going. You know, it's like the most generic thing to say, but for real, like, they're not getting no money yet. <laughs> Facts. God. How did Adam show you love? Um... I paid for uh, him to react to my video on live stream. Oh, okay. And he just showed me love like that. And he put me on Instagram and Twitter too. Fire. And like, that was like the jump start. Oh, wow. Was the song you were talking about called Pull Up? Yep. That's Pull Up. Pull Up with the Molly. I got perks. <laughs> Perk. That be <bitch> still hit. <laughs> I saw you say you didn't even like the song. That be still hit. I don't even care. <laughs> I, it's not. I didn't say I didn't like the song. I said that it's a bad indication. I of said, your music. yeah. Okay. It was just like I hate when people walk up to me and they're telling me that. I'm like, bro, I have so many better songs. <laughs> like, but I get it. It's just like it's just history, right? 
I guess she was just lit. How, like you literally just uploaded SoundCloud and it took off? Like No, no, no. I oh. dropped it on SoundCloud. And then I waited, feel me, fell asleep with it streaming to be the most popping in school type shit. <laughs> and then um, it didn't really, I honestly, it didn't really go too crazy until we shot the video on the iPhone and like, you know, put the visuals with it so you can see like what I'm talking about. You shot it on iPhone? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Just lit. We just, I was like, bro, this phone, expensive as fuck. Best be able to record a music video on it. <laughs> I see Cole Bennett shooting videos on iPhones now. Right. That's lit. Right. I remember telling Cole Bennett, like, bro, shot my video on iPhone. My brother shot the video. On my, he was like, what? No way. <laughs> Damn. How yeah. did you get tapped in with him? Um, I mean, when I was first coming up, Cole Bennett was also first coming up. And, like, he had worked with, like, Landon, Skies, like, everyone around me, you know? Right. And then, like, we just ended up in the same room. And then, like, I ended up pulling up to one of his, like, shows, like, Lyrical Lemonade show with Lil Xan, Lil Skies. There was hella people on the show. But he was, like, showing me mad love. And he, like, put me on there to perform Just Pull Up. <laughs> like, he was like, bro, I need to see you perform Pull Up. Like, Just Pull Up. Just I'm like, no other song? He's like, no, you got to perform Pull Up. I'm like, you sure, bro? Like, I don't want to fuck up anything. Like, no, you're performing pull-up, and I perform pull-up. It was How lit. How was that? <laughs> it was lit, but Cole Bennett always showed me love. Still to this day, he shows me love. That's fine. I love the whole Lyrical Lemonade team, Cole Bennett. We haven't gotten a video in, but... I was going to ask. We'll get around to it. Yeah. You got to make that perfect one. You know, God, I'm going to keep sending them songs. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, I know, you know, after Pull Up happened, you became the most popular guy in high school. Um, how? Yeah, how did that feel? Were you, like, did you like the attention? Were you ready for it? Um, I liked it, but there was, like, a love-hate for it because everybody was, like, showing me love that wasn't. So I was just like, damn, this sucks, kind of, like. I wish they would have shown me love before and I could enjoy it, you know? But it was a blessing for real because... I was going broke. Really? Yeah, my whole... They had hired the rent in San Jose. Like, you know, they're trying to make that, like, Bro, the tech spot, you yeah, know? Yeah, So they had hired our rent, like, something crazy, like $1,000 or some crazy shit. And I was just like, damn. And I knew every day, like, we'll go by, and I'm like, we're going to go homeless, you know? Like, the whole family. I was selling shit at school, but it was just not enough money to even, like, help, you know? They just wanted us out of there. Like, everybody moved out that whole neighborhood that lived there. Crazy. I saw you were talking about how you needed $50 to recruit, record in the studio, and that was even hard to pull. They taxed for studio sessions, bruh. Like, I recorded that pull-up song on, like, some little shitty $100 setup you know, on Audacity and sent the vocals out to get auto-tune. I never actually heard it with auto-tune or anything. No way. Yeah, it was a interesting way of recording. That's why in today's time... I'm so happy to see it. Like, a lot of these kids in the underground scene are recording their songs on, like, band labs. Like, the other day I did a feature for this song for Vegas Made Chris. And I was like, this song is crazy. And he's like, yeah, bro, I recorded it on my phone. I'm 17, just in school. Like, I just hit a song on my phone with headphones. I'm like, it's fucking beautiful. Aww. Everybody has a chance now. It's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Band Labs was around, but shit. I don't even know what that is. Band Labs is like, you could record songs on your phone and like with auto-tune everything from an app. Yeah. Like, it sounds crazy too. Like, it sounds better than my studio. <laughs> <laughs> Real.